Let's turn now to your first alert weather. Chief Meteorologist Scott Pageant is getting us ready for a really busy Friday, Scott, and, and what could become dangerous in some areas. It could because uh, they, we're going to be seeing the potential of maybe some stronger tornadoes developing for us. So that's why we are going with the first alert weather day, Nicole. And uh, we want to let you know that we're going to be seeing the conditions kind of deteriorate as we go through the late morning hours and then into the afternoon. So what we're watching is that first alert weather day for tomorrow. You see that rain chance of 100%. It won't rain from sun up to sundown. Down. But most of us here in North Texas seeing some rain for tomorrow, and then we're going to be seeing cooler and calmer conditions on Saturday. So here is the severe threat. You notice that we're at that level three, that enhanced risk of severe storms that does include the Metroplex, does include pretty much the east sides of North Texas, the west sides under that slight risk. Damaging wind gusts of 60 miles per hour or greater are possible. Quarter size hail or larger. Some tornadoes that could be pretty strong also developing for us as we go into those afternoon hours. So let's break that down a little bit more for you. Here we are with the first alert future cast going into tomorrow morning. Cloud cover in place, maybe some light showers around. Here we are going into the early afternoon hours. And you notice that a lot of these storms are standing on their own. We have the potential of some supercell storms through the late morning hours, especially going into the early afternoon hours to develop as we go through about two to three o'clock. You notice that there's trying to come into a line a bit more, but still some individual storms holding together. They could be reaching those severe limits or already be at severe going into the late afternoon hours, continuing then to push their way to the east by between five to six o'clock. You want to see kind of a line come together and it's a broken line by about six to seven. The reason I say that is when a line comes together, yes, still the damaging wind gust threat is there. But that tornado threat starts to diminish just a bit more by the time we go to about 10 o'clock, a lot of the rain shifting its way to the east. I talked about the tornado threat. So for tomorrow afternoon, you notice this 10% uh, it, it's lining up right to where we show that enhanced risk of severe storms. This hatched area that came out from the Storm Prediction Center shows that this is an area that has a good chance of seeing a greater uh, a EF2 to EF5 tornado possibly developing. So this is why we want you to be weather aware. Definitely make sure you stay tuned to us here on CBS 11 and uh, the CBS DFW app. We'll be able to let you know all of the uh, watches and warnings are most likely to be coming out. Wanted to break down the precept chances. You notice in the morning hours, at least in the Metroplex, 30% chances, but then going up to 100% into the afternoon. And how much are we talking about as far as rain is concerned? Maybe a half of an inch of rain to near an inch and a half to near two inches, mainly east of the 35 quarter. The further west you go, lower rain chances. And what's interesting also for Friday Night Lights is 7 to 9 o'clock, a lot of the thunderstorm activity or shower activity is going to be in the east sides of North Texas. It's going to get windy behind the frontal boundary. Uh, so west sides, you might actually see some clearer skies going into the uh, later evening hours. Where are we at right now? 75 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Temperatures tomorrow will be still holding into the mid 70s for us. We'll see 70 on Saturday, a cool start into Monday. We're back up to 80 degrees. Rain chance is 30%, but thankfully drying out just in time for Election Day. Highs in the low 80s. You're watching CBS 11 News. We'll be right back.